You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you got water all over your shirt. Had to do my hair real quickly. <laughs> it was a mess. It was. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. She's back. I'm back and I'm better. She's back and she's better. Are you? I am. Okay. Everybody's been, uh, been like, oh my god, I miss your videos with Erin. Oh, do you know. guys miss me? Yes. If you guys don't know who she is, she's my niece. A lot of you guys still think she's 14. I am 19 turning 20 this year. That happened really fast. I'm a little shocked. Do you feel 19? Do you feel 20? I feel 19, but saying I'm about to turn 20 just doesn't feel right. Spooky. Ooky. It doesn't feel right. An adult. Uh, entering my adulthood. You're in your, you're in your adult era unfortunately you don't ever get to leave your adult era once you enter it once you enter it you're there for life we're gonna do a little life update while me and her get ready today just glam to glam up glam up catch you guys up on what's the 411 what's going on with us what's going on with her a little chit chat get ready with me and yes. you guys asked me questions on my last video so I was gonna pull those up on my phone and just kind of use that as a guide I like this right it's I like cute. this idea do you glam more than now that you're in college or about the same Less. Less! I actually, maybe when I was going out, but I, like, maybe these past two months I haven't been going out as much. I feel that. But even then, I would really only do my makeup on the weekends. But when I was in high school, I was doing my makeup every day to go to school. But I no longer in college, do that. I, no. 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 Mm -mm. I'm not putting in that much effort. I feel that. Maybe some days when I want to put in the effort, but mm -hmm. I never really do. I feel that. I put in effort with other things, like with my hair and then putting on I a decent you gonna, outfit. I thought you were going to say with like my schoolwork and studying. You said with my hair. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean looks wise. Looks wise. Okay, let's jump in. Subscribe before you leave. Subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. We're gonna start glamming. I just got these fragrances from Dossier in. I had some I've been using that are almost empty. Oh my That's goodness. That's the sandalwood, which this is the same thing. It's just a refill of it. Mm -hmm. This one. Smell how good that smells. These smell so good. My second favorite is Ambery Saffron. I'm trying to figure out, there's one that I smelled that was. That one. The oud. Mm -hmm. The figury oud. Mm -hmm. This one smells really good. Mm. Oh, let me get a little sniffy of this one. Something really cool about Dossier is they gave me and Manny, who have obviously the podcast full coverage, the opportunity to work with them to be on the billboard yeah. in Times Square. So me and Manny are literally on a Dossier billboard in Times Square right now. And they gave you guys a link that I'll put in the description box. It's if you shop through their code, any of their fragrances, which are a dupe for a lot of high-end fragrances. They all smell um, delicious. I'll tell you do. that much. I think the Ambery Saffron is probably my favorite. But they're going to give you guys 10% cash back with the link. So I'll put it in the description box. Shout out to Dossier. Thank you guys for working with me and Manny and putting the podcast in Times Square. This is so exciting for the podcast. See you a picture, didn't I? I was like, look, You sure did. And it's insane. Isn't it? I wish I was there to see it. Yeah. I, they, the team luckily was nice enough to like send us over content so we could envision it. That's yes. the first time I've ever been in Times Square though. That's insane. It may not be the last. It might not be the last. I've yeah. always kind of wanted to do that because I see like a lot of influencers get those opportunities to be in Times Square. So I'm like, I wonder if I would ever get that opportunity, you know, because I've been doing it for so many years and I yeah. just think it's so cool I got to do it with the podcast. It's also just, it's such a cool thing to say. I know. Isn't it kind of? iconic it is iconic and it's insane oh right. maybe i should have done that let's yes. get those questions rolling well the first one people asked was how is college going when i first moved out not the best not going too deep into that i am now well i i just don't really want to go down that path. College now is going better. I wish I could have done my first year differently. That's 100%. What would you say was like holding you back or like why you would have done it differently? Why I had such a hard time was because I wasn't really up for college. I went and went in with a really negative mindset. Like, I don't want to do this. I hate this. Also, I moved away. I had no friends, no family. So that was really hard for me. But I wish I would have just... I could tell myself like just open up more and just like don't close that out but I think I really did need to go through that bad phase in order for me to be where I'm at right now because I mentally feel a lot better and I'm actually now really excited for the next 
a next year, semester, semester next year yeah i'm more excited and i want to put more of an effort in with school why um did you choose college after high school because we technically we were like you have to do something we yeah. would like we think t tyler especially was like because he graduated so he thought it'd be good for you you see but and laura tyler did give me that option they were like you do not have to go to college you mm -hmm. can do whatever it is you want to do but you need to have a plan and my problem is, is that I never came up with a plan, so college was the option. I'm so sorry. What, what, what did you, what was your question? Like, what would you have, like, did you feel like was, like, because you chose college, so, like, what do you feel like was, like, holding you back, like, made it a negative experience and all? I think I had, like, a really negative outlook on it, maybe? Yes, I had a very negative outlook on it. Uh, but also for myself, I was like, I can't do college. Like, I'm not academically smart enough to do it. I feel like you had such good grades all through your high school year. Why would you think that you weren't smart enough to do college? I don't know. I think it's because for some reason, even though I made sure to keep up with all the A's and B's, there were a couple C's here and there. I, I can't, I don't really know how to explain it and describe it. I just thought like, you did none of this by yourself. Like, you needed help from others, which there's nothing wrong with having help for others that's just me being a negative person and stuff like you felt like you needed a lot of help to get those grades in high school so you couldn't do it in college yeah and also just like I don't know why but like college never really interested me but then again I had no clue what I wanted to do so does it interest you now a lot of people always ask me like what are you doing in college but I always tell people I'm like guys if you go to college you don't always know like what your major is going in you kind of have some time there to figure things out before you know like for certain I know my roommate she has changed her major I think six times now yeah you can do that so. yeah so but with me I want to go into marketing that is what I want to do. And I want to stay here in LA and work with that. Um, who knows, in a year, maybe even six months from now, my mind could change, so. That's okay. That's okay, cause your 20s are, I feel like for testing the waters, but I think the most important thing in your 20s is to not do nothing. You know what I mean? Like your 20s is not just for sitting on your City. Your 20s are for like literally quite the opposite. It's for trying everything, failing at some things, succeeding at some things, and while you out while you works. still can because you can do that no matter how older it's you true. you are or however young you are. But it's just in your 20s, especially if you're in college, I feel like that's the most acceptable time to do it. And I guess it does depend on like the environment you're around. I feel like the college atmosphere I'm around, they are very welcoming and they're not too harsh on things like that. If you like fail, make a mistake, change your mind and things like that. Like it's not yeah. people like, what are you doing? Right. It's more of the- Everybody is like lost. Exactly. To some degree. Can I borrow a setting spray? How's dating life going? Well, I'm oh! I'm currently in my first relationship. <gasps> but you've had boyfriends before. Yeah. Remember like, the guy during COVID? We were we were actually never official. Oh. We just talked for like six months, and that guy was absolutely crazy. He was he was crazy. Hey! Um, not to I, I mean I'm not giving details. <laughs> it's just a crazy guy for them, but. He, he was he was crazy. He was crazy. But I was crazy for talking to him. So, yeah. two crazy people. And then, like, in ninth grade, I had, like, a boyfriend and stuff. Yeah. Um. But this is my first real relationship. This is, like, all... a little more serious. Oh. It is very serious. It's okay. very serious. It's very serious. We're already married. You guys have only been dating for two months. Yeah. But, like, what I mean for that is, like, very serious compared to, like, anyone else I've, like, actually had a connection Got with. Got it. He's very sweet. Um, he's older than you. He's older than me. He is, uh, he's, uh, 22. He was born in 2000. I'm 2003. My God. What year is it? Oh my gosh. And how did you guys meet? So my roommate is dating his roommate. By and the way, guys, I know all this. I'm just asking her for you. <laughs> for you guys. She already knows all the details. She already knows everything. Girl. About my mans. Mm -hmm. But we met. He just, he made a move on me one night. I, <gasps> Not like, not like. Like, he liked you. Can I like tell them? Yeah, like you, how? He, yeah, you can tell him because that story is really cute to me. It's actually, so the first time I met him, me, my roommate, 
and her boyfriend and mm. my boyfriend, we went to Chili's. And Ooh, this wasn't Chili's. like a double date thing. I have never met my boyfriend before. And this first time meeting him at Chili's, nothing. I like really didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, he's cool. He's funny. I don't feel like you were like that into him. Like, I wasn't. I wasn't. Like... I wasn't like crazy obsessed. I, I just honestly didn't think about it. And then maybe like a week or two goes by, my roommate is like having people over uh, because she goes out on Thursday nights. He came over because her man's was there. And they're roommates. Yes, and he does not like to go downtown and like out there because he's already done it and that's just not much of his crowd. So he stayed and we hung out and we talked for a while. Just you two? Um, just us two and then I eventually- I wonder why he stayed behind. Oh, I wonder too. But she then later on explained he had a really big crush on me at Chili's. Oh. And then what were you doing at Chili? Like acting a fool? Honestly, he says I was so funny, and this isn't me like trying to hype myself up, but he says I always tell you you're funny. I know, but like I'm trying to think about that night, and I'm just like, how was I funny? I don't know. He found me really funny, and he was like, you know, of course you're like really attractive, but like you're super funny. Yeah. Um, but that night. He was just, we just hung out and talked and then, but like he asked me to come over to his house to meet his cat. That's, that was his Girl, way of like making a move on what me. What a plug. And um, all we did, we just kissed. Didn't he ask? Mm -hmm. And he, he asked me, he was like, it was actually really sweet. We were, we were sitting like crisscross applesauce uh, from each other and their cat was like playing with us. And then he asked me, he was like, can I please kiss you? You're so pretty. And that... What'd you say? I like laughed, but it was like a nervous laugh. Like it was yeah. like a, and then I was like, stop. And then he was like, is that yes or no? And then I was like, yes. And then we kissed. You're like, duh. Duh. That was a cute story. You guys talked for a while before you became boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah? Yes, we, we talked for maybe like two months or a month and a half. Honestly, it happened way faster than I expected, but it is because we spent so much time with each other. Girl, you know Aaron. I'm in love. I'm sick of it. I'm in love. What am I gonna do? Let this, let me have my moment. Yeah. This is my first love. You're having it. You're having your moment. I'm having my moment. Well, good. I'm glad you're having your moment. What's been the biggest challenge in college? Mm. Being broke? That, no, that's not, no, that's not a joke. Being broke is not a joke. Being broke is not a joke. That college broke is no joke. I think the hardest challenge for me is uh, not having authority. Yeah, that's a good one. I miss, I genuinely miss you and Tyler's authority. I remember like senior year of high school, I was like praying just to have it stop. I'm just like, oh my God, please leave me alone. Like, oh. Because would be on your butt about everything. Yeah, but now I can see that you guys, and even now you guys still do, and I still get annoyed, but yeah. if I take like, if I look back, I'm just like, oh, you can't be annoyed. They're literally helping you. So yeah. now you have like free will in college to kind of like do your own thing, guide yourself. And it's, it's so hard to have the motivation yourself, or at least it is for me. And that's why I really do miss have like having like Laura and Tyler just behind me, like pushing me, like go that's do this. I try to tell you, I'm like, you're turning into an adult. We're not always gonna be there to make you do the things that you need to get done. You I know. have to find the willpower to execute. You gotta find it and you gotta do it yourself. I know, and that is definitely like one of the hardest things that I'm still having to go through is being able to do things on my own. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, something I do tell myself a lot is, I, it's like kind of a guilty thing. It's like guilty conscious, like even though like, you guys don't know what I'm doing in my day to day life, but I'm just like, God, like I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get in trouble, I gotta do this, so. Erin, you gotta do things for yourself, not know. just so you won't get in trouble. Like, I know. You got to do things to make yourself proud. I know, and I'm eventually, I will eventually get there, but. You are still slightly fresh out of, you're a year outside of high school. Yeah, like I'm, not even a year, like graduation's in a couple days, like when I graduated. Yeah, yeah. so you're still getting there. I'm still learning, but. I think by this time, if you, if you, if we come back to me this time next year, I think I'm gonna be even more different. Like I'm. Gonna I be, do too. I and I'm excited about that. I'm ready to see my growth. I'm How ready to grow as a person. How you from when you moved in with us? How many years ago was that? Four. That was longer. 
Mm-mm. That was five years ago. No, it's Because you're a year outside of high school and you came here in ninth grade. Yeah, but I moved here in January 2019. But January's already passed, so we're, we're going into five years. You were going into five years, yes. Okay, so from five years, are you proud? Like, if, if you were you and you were looking at yourself five years in the future to now, would you be proud of yourself? I would be proud of a lot of things, but there are still a lot of things that I want to, work, to on. work on. But that is my mindset now. But my, if you ask younger me, I'd probably be so proud of myself there because I don't act like a... I was just so self-conscious. Yeah. I had, like, so much anxiety. I, I was just so... I, the way I treated things was so strange just because I had the worst self-conscious and anxiety at yeah. that time. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just, think, like, your self-consciousness gave you anxiety. Yeah. Like, I'll, because you were self-conscious about everything it like built a case of big anxiety so it was like battling it was like never a break and I think another thing especially from when I first moved in here I would be really proud of like how mentally I have changed so much and I'm gonna say this too I've noticed myself even just from not like since I've entered college but these last couple months because I have been like trying to work on myself more and my mental health I have changed a lot. I'm not as negative as I once was. I like to correct myself when I am negative about myself or, like, the way I view life or things. Yeah. Um, and they catch you sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, don't be negative. Yeah. And you have to go in, uh, you into have to go things in with, with a positive pos- attitude knowing that you are capable. Yeah. And the thing is, is that I was never negative towards, like, people. Right. But very negative to yourself. Very, and that's, like, the worst. And it's the worst because that's, that has stopped me from doing so many things and it even stops me now. I'm working on that. I'm working on it, baby. So someone asked me, they were like, what is something that I miss since you moved away? What is something? Well, let's see. There are a few things. You miss me almost burning the house down? Miss you almost burning my house down. You guys don't even know that story, but we're not going to get into it because Lord have mercy. I don't even remember. I'm not even going to tell you because it's just going to bring rage back. Rage. I feel like if I think hard enough, I can't Let's remember. just not think about it. Let's continue with the video, babe. Okay. Let's just continue with the video. I miss your company. I miss Aww. hanging out with you on the weekends. I miss going to the beach with you. Oh. I don't miss yelling at you. Yeah. You're the happiest person ever in the mornings. Yeah, I'm I'm more of a morning Such person. A morning. I'm really not. I'm kind of grumpy in the morning. You you are. Like it, I, it takes me a minute to get going. I feel and like. I'm kind of the opposite at night. I get more grumpy at night. I and like I, hanging out. And I'm happy at night and a lot. But I'm not a night owl. But I would be. I'm just not because I have a lot of responsibilities. So baby girls gotta, I gotta wake get up in the up. morning. I gotta get up and get going. So there's a lot of things I miss for sure. I definitely for miss sure. doing all those things with you as well though well, like there's so many times like i just like miss like talking to you and ty and stuff mm-hmm. what are your five-year goals directed at both of you so we each have to answer honestly i have not that was pretty what did you use i used this nyx professional makeup liner brick house brick house and then i used this tart little lippy and hibiscus I have n- not even thought about my five-year goal. But yeah. this is, like, something I probably should be thinking about. Oh, my God. I think there's a fine line of kind of having an idea mm-hmm. of what you might want to head towards. And then a fine line of not planning too much because you'll waste a lot of time within your plans because life takes you wherever it wants to go. And I want to be very realistic is the thing. Like Why? Or what? Because you don't have to be realistic. I guess. I, I hope in like five... Optimism, Aaron. Optimism. I can make anything I want happen. Exactly. So, I guess why not be... Say anything I want to happen. Yeah, what's something you want to happen that you feel like is... You would have to be optimistic for that to happen? Five years from now, where am I going to be? So, I'll definitely be out of college. Okay. I want an apartment. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, she myself. wants her, In five years, she wants well, an apartment. Well, I... Honestly, That's I wouldn't a great mind... Goal. I wouldn't mind like having a roommate. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a roommate... Um, I think that's great. 
Hmm. Those are good goals. I don't know. Hopefully I'm like working a job that I appreciate. It's not some like crappy job that makes me miserable, but like something that I want to do career wise. That's good. Um, don't want to have any pets. That's smart. Just because you know. They're too much of a responsibility and it's a really great learning lesson. I know. I just don't think I have enough patience for animals, to yeah. be honest. And if you don't, then don't get them. Okay, okay. my five years goals. That's five like, years from now. I don't know. Thanks. What am I going to be doing? Probably have like two or three kids. What? <laughs> Are you for real? I was about to say, I was like, this is news to me. I mean, like, it's not like I would be like, like, oh my God, what, Laura? If she was like one day told me she would want kids. I, w I would be surprised though. Would you be happy or would you be I'd sad? be happy. Would you be jealous because you're not going to be the center of attention? I mean, I'm going to be older by then, so I might not look at it like that. I think, yeah, you might grow past that. I think I might grow past it. And I think if anything, I, I might find it a little exciting. Yeah, like a new family member. Yeah. So, yeah, in five years potentially moving out of this home maybe in five years okay where would you um, move though I have a couple spots they're all in California so they're yeah. not far but I don't know though I don't know I look at houses all the time and there's no house that's good enough quite yet for me yeah. I have so many like things like the thing is I love the home I'm in so much now that why would I move if I wouldn't like the next home more? Yeah. Or the same or more. Yeah. So I look at homes and I'm like, nope, I hate the closet or I hate the backyard or it's always like a something that turns me off. What's your biggest thing about a house? One of my biggest, biggest things, like I absolutely will not buy a home if the sun doesn't set in the backyard. So it needs to be facing. Uh, no. Sun sets in the west, so it needs to be facing east. Okay. So that way the front of the house is lit in the morning in the backyard because where do I sit every single afternoon? You love sitting in the backyard in the sunshine. Yep, and I sit back there till the sun goes down and that's because it feels my house, so good. yeah, it feels, it's like a southern thing. You just back porch, front porch sit. Oh, it's so nice. And I like my privacy, so I prefer back porch sitting. So I will, like any house I buy has to be facing a certain way. Like I have things about homes that you don't That's even so think smart. about. I never even thought about mm -hmm. that. I have a couple of friends who bought their house and they face the opposite way and they hate it because they can barely use their pool because it's like chilly and shaded all the time. Oh my God, I would hate that. It's never sunny and it sucks. So I'm like, dang, ouch, I burned my eye. I know. Another thing, what else? I don't really want a fixer upper. It's too much I'm work not and too interested. much money. Yeah, I'm not interested in spending my time. If anything, I would build a home and like live here while it's being built, but I don't want to live through a renovation ever again. Mm -mm. And I noticed a lot of the newer or nicer homes in LA, like they always have some weird funky tiles in the bathroom. And it's like, that's your style, more power to you. Yes. But it's not my style. So I don't want to buy a house that's nice and new and start busting out the bathroom again because I already went through that once and I'm not doing that again. And that was a <gasps> process. That was a process. That was a lot, you guys. That was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It took a while as well. It took so but long. But to be fair, your bathroom is gorgeous. It was worth it for sure. I just don't ever want to go through that again. So I'm like, if like I don't want to move into a home and be like, it's okay, we can change it. No. no. Nap, 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 nap. I don't want to change it. That's why I'm like, I may just have to build. Do you guys have any summer trips planned? We have some places we want to go. We definitely want to go up north. We Every year we like camping, like glamping. Yes. I don't think I've ever been camping before. I will say you've been glamping. Have I? Say the little Airstream or RVs was kind of glamping in Yosemite. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit then, mm -hmm. I guess. I, I'm a glamper. She's a glamper, guys. Uh, and I am too. I'm. You know I'm a glamper. I'm sorry. I I'm a glamper. You. I don't know what to tell you, baby. And I, I don't feel ashamed for it either. You don't have to, darling. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't even try it. Yosemite is so beautiful. Every year we, oh, this is dried out. Dang, let me get another one. Every year we go to Yosemite. We're all, that's something me, Tyler, and Aaron have in common. We love like nature, hiking. I, I really do like nature. I feel like that's the Alabama side in us. It could be. I don't, it's just, I like being in greenery. I like the fresh air. And then especially if you live somewhere in like LA, you need it. You need to get out for a minute. New York is worse. 
I cannot imagine. Uh, uh. Look, I, 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 I see why people like it. I do see it. Yeah. But I also see why some people, it's just not for them. I think, like, I want to, like, live there just for a month. Yeah. Just to see what it's like. Right. I'm not being realistic about this. Like, this isn't <laughs> a plan. This isn't a goal of mine. But I'm just saying, like, thought. just a little thought. Just a, like, silly little funny thought. Like, just living there for a, a, a year. No, a month. Yeah. Maybe two. Yeah. Just to see what it's like. To see in the West of the Dillio. Experience it. Uh, be a New Yorker. Okay, one of the main questions we get, we got asked is like, how's my sister doing? Which is Aaron's mom. Mm -hmm. And she's doing much, much better. She's doing so good. Mm -hmm. She's doing so much better. Doing so good. You can see it. She like looks so much better. She looks she, so much better. She, she feels so much better. Yes. Like, it's it's just so... It's nice to see. It's so good to see. And I think everyone in the family is just so proud of her. Yeah. And everybody's, like, rebuilding their relationships with her, including Aaron. Mm -hmm. Like, we're all slowly rebuilding relationships. Yeah. Anybody who knows what it's like to go through what we went through, what my sister went through, what my family went through. You understand how it is. Yeah, you have to, you know, rebuild if you can. It's and a work in progress. It is. It's all just a slow work in progress. One day I'll have her tell her story and everything that happened to her and like what she wants to spill herself. Yeah. But she is doing so much better. We went on a family beach trip last week to Florida, to my Florida house. I have a house in Florida and I do need to say I'm not moving there because I did mistakenly just say that and I didn't give too much context. So, so we a lot like, of people are like, when are you moving to Florida? Baby, I'm not moving Girl, there. Girl, they're wildin' over there. Girl, they be wildin'. Girl, but, they be wildin'. But Florida is just, that water. I'm Stunning. I'm telling you this, like an hour or two before our flight, we were in that ocean. We certainly were. Certainly we literally were. went and jumped in the ocean right before our plane flight home. Yes. Because we didn't want to miss a minute of it. I didn't want to miss a minute. It's so beautiful. It feels so good. The water is Gorgina. It is. I'm using Manny's new um, lipstick in Icon. That's my favorite color in the collection. And oh, then this is Cocoa gorgeous. Lip Liner. Oh, hey, just... come say hey in the video. Come say hi. Just slide on through here. Would you say that you and Tyler argue more than me and you? Mm, me and Tyler are like petty arguments. Like, we have dumb arguments y'all be getting on my nerves I'm not if gonna we ever argue though which i don't really argue that much with laura i feel like we argue less but when we do it's it, a bigger it, argument it's it's over something that's like really matters. and i feel like you guys argue all the time small over stuff. small stuff that don't mm -hmm. matter and i save the arguments for when i need to let it out definitely not all the for time. when i need to get you what you consider an argument i'll be lecturing aaron about something no but then y'all about something me, 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 me. And, me, me, me. and you get upset because you don't want to hear it. I don't. They argue all the time. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. No, Guess we aren't arguing, though, argument. actually. I'd be lecturing her. You know what? I'm on Tyler's side with this. It's not arguing. I don't want to hear it. She just don't want to hear us talk. She don't want to hear nah, the lectures. You guys, you guys will lecture for three hours and go back and forth. We do. Sometimes I do feel Sorry. like... You just hit my butt. <laughs> All right, well, we're about to get into an argument right now. And I just want to have, like, family time and hang out, and it always turns into either a lecture or an argument, and I'm just trying to chill with everybody. Sometimes on, I on. feel like maybe we go in circles, but... My God, you, thank you. I smoke happy. I do, too. Sorry, it's, it's me. It's probably on this. It's probably on that. Um, but what y'all no, doing? That's my problem. get ready with me? We're doing a get ready with me, but that's right. my problem. You guys' conversations just go in circles. I don't, I don't think that's for every conversation, though. It's not. I'm it's using not. my Laura Lee Los Angeles gloss. Um, just so we know, though, I am a Laura Lee Los Angeles supporter. <gasps> She's a stan. Is that your rose glimmer? Glosses. Is that your color? I, I do like this one the as nude. well, but I love just the sparkles. I knew you would. Um, I got a lot of questions. How are you liking your new car? Because mm. remember we filmed you yes. getting that. Oh my god, that car. And what I have to tell you today about your car. He wants me to wash it. How many times have you washed it since you bought it? I have not washed it once. Not one no, time. not one time. Okay, broke college girl. I don't got $15 no, 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 no. today. Oh, girl, no. you are really... Miss girl, you're trying it. Okay. You can you wash it in the driveway. It. You can literally wash it in the dry. When I said wash your car, I didn't mean take it to the car wash. I meant wash That's it by hand. That's all she knows, Tyler. She's spoiled. Wash it by hand. <laughs> she said, what do I do? What do I do? I have yes. a, a new tool that you can use. Oh, here we Let go. No, no, no. This sounds like a... 
This sounds like, like a, a dad thing to yeah, say. It's like a pressure washer thing for your car. <gasps> yeah, it's pretty cool. No, that, oh, I, I haven't even had a chance to see it. Here, we look cute. Oh, no, no. Lady. Bye, babe. Thank you for joining us. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry to hit your buttons. Oh, someone sorry said. Sorry to hit your buttons. Uh-uh, now. <laughs> Someone said, so what's something you don't miss about Aaron being home? Oh, wait, let me answer this. Okay. I know Laura's response. Do you? Say it and I'll tell you if you're right. Me stealing your things and making a mess. Oh. Those are the two things. Aaron steals all my sh Aaron only steals stuff that I use every single day. You see, the thing is, though, look at the things you have. It's like you're asking me to steal it. Aaron, I give you so much stuff. You do. Laura gives I'm me a lot. I'm gonna say having a moody teen around the house. I don't miss that. She is moody. I, I When am... I try to hang out with her, she's like, get out. I'm not doing it right now. That is not get true. Out. Get out. That's what you do to me. That's what you say. I think. I it... literally found video footage in the, my okay. phone. That was like back from what, what, what year? It was like 2021. I don't, I think that was from like 2020. It was two years ago. Okay, but you tell me that now if I try to come linger in your room. You're like, nope, nope, that get is, out. That is not true. Yeah, you're so mean to me. That is not true. Um, But just her leaving her stuff everywhere. Even whenever she comes home from college for a while and goes back, she's left her tennis shoes, her jacket, her phone. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, Aaron, what, your stuff is still here. Yeah, I've... But I have gotten better about picking up things. I will say since moving into a house with kids my age, just like roommates, you you can't do that. It's they're a not humbling experience. It is because they're not gonna put up with you the way these two will. They're like, hey, do you do you mind? Has anyone ever tried to like talk to you, be nice to you because I'm your aunt? Actually, not that I know of. No they're... one's been like, you know, like trying to like. I I do have too much. I have met a couple people where we've like we've had a like really good genuine relationship, and then that's when they'll tell me like, I knew your aunt was Laura, but I didn't. Is I... that a little strange? Sometimes it's strange, but the thing is, why I don't have a problem with it is because I do, these people are really genuine. Yeah. And also, it's just like, I don't know, I don't think it's too weird. Yeah. I mean, unless they're like just being friends with me because, because of you. Of that, but you don't feel like that. Huh? I don't feel like that. Then That's I'd be good. like, mm. but also, it's just like, are you going to be friends with someone because of who they're related to? That's, that's strange. Yeah. That is a bit strange, but not that I know of. I don't think anyone's done that. Well, that's good. I, I feel do like, like everybody that like knew me or knows me or knows me from online, whatever, is very cool about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Like any store, what? Sometimes I wish people would come up to me because of you. I bet I make some friends. They'd probably be fake though. Aaron. <laughs> They'd probably be fake. Honestly. That's one thing I definitely gotta get better at, putting myself out there. You do, you kinda just take what comes to you. I do, and that's my problem, is that once I have something, I just, I'm You're content with, with that. It. I'm like, content, I'm just try like, to reach I know, out for and more. that's, I'm done doing that. Like, I just. That could be a good five year goal, you know, put yourself out there a little more, meet I, new people intentionally. Yeah, like don't just let people come up to you, like I need to start putting myself out there and actually gaining relationships and stuff. I don't know, like I'm just tired of that. I like that. Well, I think we answered pretty much all the main questions I've been getting on repeat. Mm -hmm. So, um. Oh, you guys wanted an update? You got an update, baby. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Thank you guys for watching us get ready and talk. And until next time, Erin's coming home for the summer, by the way. So, so there will be more of me. I'm here for the summer, y'all. I want to do a video where we switch makeup bags. We do that in the past. I don't think we have, but honestly, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this right now, I'm not gonna know what to do. Like, I understand the process, but the thing yeah, is- you have to do my process on your face and I have to do yours on mine. Mine's gonna be so easy for you. I know, that's But the yours, challenge. the thing is, is like, I can do it with the foundation part too and like the baking. You gotta do it. It, it gets like, I feel like mine just doesn't look like flawless like this. It looks like cakey. No, it it'll be cute. It'll be funny. <sighs> we'll do that video one day. We're gonna try it out, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't Thank forget to check out Dossier. I will link the cashback link down below. I'm also wearing our new minimum pullovers. So cute. I like these too. We Come have on. these in sizes so small through um, 3X. So. Yes. Yeah. Come on, baby girl. You know you want one. They're cute. Minimally. The link will be in the bio. Bye, guys. Bye.